Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to do a bit of a, a Blender beginner tutorial. So I've had some requests in the past to do Blender tutorials, and I haven't really done any, not any like this. So we're going to start off with people that are pretty new to Blender. We're just going to model this basic chair. I have a uh, reference from this guy right here. And, um, yeah, this is what we're going to make. And it should be pretty easy. If you're new to Blender, you should be able to do this. So let's hop into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new project here. General, uh, sure, I'll save that. All right, so we start off with a cube here, which is fine. But the first thing that I always do, you should always do this with Blender, is you should bring in a reference. You always need a reference if you're gonna be 3D modeling. Um, always a good idea. So I'm going to bring in this chair reference. And if you want this same exact reference, I will leave a link in the description where you can grab this reference and you can bring it into your project. So yeah, just bring this guy in. I'm going to scale this guy up, position it where I want it. And yeah, so we have a cube, which is actually good for what we want to do. We're going to start out with the legs on this guy. So uh, if you don't know how to move around, you can use the middle mouse button to rotate around. You can use the shift and middle mouse button to, you know, pan around like this. And you can obviously scroll to zoom in and out. And that's basically the basics of getting around. So... Uh, you can also use one on your numpad to see the front view, three on your numpad to see the right view, uh, and, you know, all the numpads basically give you a different view. The main ones, the main ones that I use are one, three, and seven, sometimes nine, and, uh, yeah, learning the shortcuts in Blender are going to be super useful to you, so, yeah. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do with this guy is we're gonna scale this guy down. So press S on your keyboard and you'll see you get this thing and you can scale this guy down. And we're just gonna get it down to kind of a you know decent size. And then what we're gonna do is over here on this right menu over here, you see this little wrench, it's called modifiers. We're gonna add a modifier. We're gonna go down to the generate right here and we're gonna generate a mirror. And what this does is it basically makes it so you only have to model one side of something and the other side will, you know, repeat what you're doing on the one side. It cuts down your workflow. You only have to do half half the work that you would do. So, yeah, and uh, the default axis that it's using is the X axis, which is the red axis right here, which is what we need. So if you press tab on your keyboard, You'll go into edit mode. Also, you can go up here and just click edit mode. And you'll see we got uh, this thing. So a lot of people um, have different ways of moving objects around in Blender. The way that I tend to do it is to go over here and use this guy, this move. And you'll see you get these arrows. And you can move this guy around. Uh, Control Z to undo anything you've done. And uh, I'm going to move this guy over to the right a bit. And you see that's the how the mirror modifier works. We move this guy and the other side does the exact same thing that we're doing. So yeah, we're just going to mirror this till we get a decent uh, size and spacing that we want. And I'm just going to move this guy over here. So that looks good to me. So the next thing I'm going to do is we need to extrude this guy. We need to make it long, like this leg right here. We're gonna make this leg. So we need to make this guy longer. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go back into edit mode with tab. And I'm gonna go up here and choose face mode. There are a few different modes that you could choose. There's vertex, there's um, ed the edges, and then there's faces. So if you go into face mode and click this top guy right here, uh, you can move. You can move it, you can extrude it, and how you extrude is with E. If you press E on your keyboard, uh, you can extrude, 
um, it'll automatically drag whenever you extrude and you just move your mouse around but you can also just um, press E press enter and use the arrows if you want to you can alternatively press E and enter and press G and Z and do that or G and X to go across the X or G and Y to go across the Y but for me I'm just gonna pull this guy up uh, I'm not gonna use the extrude at the moment I'm just gonna pull this guy up so just select your face pull it up and we're gonna pull it up right about here I'm gonna use this Y arrow to pull it back a bit and uh, if you press A on your keyboard, it'll select all the faces and then you can move the whole thing again. So I'm just going to pull this guy in a bit and I think I'll pull it down a bit. So select that face and pull it back and down until you kind of get the position that you want. So just tweak this guy till we get what we want. And yeah, that's our basic setup for a leg right there. So something about this though is that you see ours is really blocky. It's got a bunch of straight edges, really hard edges and stuff. So a way that we can deal with that is that we can bevel it. So we can go back into edit mode and if we go to edge select mode, uh, you can choose the different edges. So what we're going to do here is we're going to choose all of these edges. We're going to choose all the edges at the bottom. And if you select and shift and click, you can select multiple edges. And so yeah, that's how we're going to do that. And the way we're going to round this out is by beveling. So how you can bevel is you can press control and B on your keyboard and you're now in bevel mode. So now if you drag, you can see you are beveling this we just want to bevel this a little bit and while in when while in bevel mode you can scroll on your mouse and that will smooth out the curves a bit so i'm just going to add three loops there kind of smooth out that and you can also see we kind of you, you can see these flat faces so something you can do is you can right click on this in object mode we're in object mode you can right click this guy and shade smooth or you can do shade smooth by angle and shade flat so i'm just gonna shade smooth this guy for now just leave that um I'm just going to redo the bevel because I wasn't quite satisfied with the bevel. So let's redo the bevel and shade smooth by angle. And now we're going to bevel the other sides as well. So if you go into edit mode, choose your edge select and shift select all these edges over here. So something to be careful about with bevel as you can see that we have we already have this bevel but when we shift select this over here um it doesn't select all of these edges right here so you need to make sure you go through and select all those edges or alternatively what you can do is you can press shift and alt and click and shift and alt and click and it'll select everything on that edge so we're going to shift alt and click shift alt and click and it's got everything on those edges so i'm going to press Control b to go into bevel mode and we're going to drag bevel this guy and there we go so something to, uh you can see how with shade smooth by angle so if I choose shade smooth by ankle, you can see we can still kind of get these weird sharp edges and stuff in it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose shade smooth by angle and you'll see we get the, this little drop down down here. And I'm going to untick this keep sharp edges that I don't want them and we're just going to change the angle a bit until it smooths out. And as you can see, 
that is smoothed out pretty good. Now we have a nice curved beveled leg. And finally, I'm just going to go to the top and we're going to bevel this as well. So we're in edge select mode and I'm just going to um, right there. I just alt and clicked and it clicked. Uh, it selected all of the edges there. So I'm just going to control B and bevel this guy right here. Just a small bevel up there. And there we go. We got some legs. And now we're going to go ahead and do the uh, the back leg. Back leg is a bit longer. It's one piece. It's beveled. And it goes all the way up to the top. So let's uh, let's do that. All right. So for our back legs, just to keep, uh, keep them in the solid same spot, I'm going to actually just use uh these legs that we already have so i'm to do that i'm going to duplicate it and if you want to duplicate an object you can press shift and d and that'll duplicate it so if you press shift d and press enter it'll stay where it is and it won't drag along with where you're pulling it so now we can just use the arrows to pull this guy back and if we go into edit mode we can pull this guy forward because if you look at the chair, this back one comes forward a bit and then it curves back again up this way. We're going to pull this guy forward a little bit. And this is where we're going to actually extrude. So if you in edit mode have all of this area selected, press E and you can pull up and we're just going to pull this guy up. And we're going to pull it back a bit till we get about where we want it. And I'm going to do about right there. looks good to me. So that's not quite what we're looking for. Because if you look at the reference here, it's not a 100% sharp, like sharp straight, like kind of a thing going on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some loop cuts and how you can do that is if you press control and R on your keyboard, you can see we can get a loop cut and add it in the middle there. And if you press control and R and you scroll on your keyboard, you can get multiple loop, cu loop cuts, which is what I'm going to do here. And now if we alt and click the one in the center, we only affect that one, but what you can do is go into orthographic mode. So while you have this selected, press uh, O on your keyboard, and we are now in orthographic mode. And now when we pull this guy, you can see the big circle around what we're moving, and it affects everything within the circle. And if you want to change the size of that circle, you can press S on your keyboard and just scroll up or down and change the size of it. I'm going to leave it at about right here for now and just kind of pull this guy in a bit like that. And I think that looks pretty good. But as you can see right here, we're getting that sharp edge again. So if you right click shade smooth by angle and pull this guy up until that sharp looking edge goes away. And there we go. But if you look here, this is kind of curved, but it's really only curved, like it's really curved hard on one side. All right, so, so what we're gonna do to kind of get this more curved, this more rounded edge up here, is uh, we need to do a loop cut here. But as you can see, our loop cut it ends, it ends before we get into the mid mid section here. So if we do a loop cut here and then we you know try to try to change its position, it's not going to it's not going to change this mid section. So what we need to do is we need to fix we we basically need to fix the the topology here. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go into vertex mode here. And as you can see how these these all connect but there are paths here that are are not connected across so this basically breaks your quads something known as quads in uh you know 3d speak so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this vertex right here 
and we're going to click this vertex, shift click this vertex, and press J. And if you do that, it'll connect all the way across. Then we'll do that for this one right here, and shift click and press J. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Uh, click this one. And here, we'll click this one actually. And click this guy, click this guy, and J. And yeah, we'll do this one as well right here, J. And this guy right here, and J. And now, if we press Control R, you can see we get a loop cut that goes through the whole thing. So that's because we fixed our quads in this area. So if you press Control R and scroll, we can now make some loop cuts in that area. And we're gonna go back to Edge Select. And I'm gonna select, so on here, the back edge is more curved than the front side is. So I'm gonna select this back end right here. And we're gonna be sure to be in orthographic mode. So press O on your keyboard and make sure you are. And make sure your um, your range is in a suitable range. So I'm gonna try something about in that range for now and pull this guy up. And then we can select one of these edges and try to pull some of this up as well. And we can try to pull some of this down like that. And, you know, you can always just tweak it, try to tweak it, get it closer to what you're looking for. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of playing around with stuff so you get a good, good idea. I'm going to scale this guy down a little bit and pull this up a bit. And that is... Looking pretty good to me, but it looks like this is a little bit shifted over. So I'm going to scale this guy up a bit and just pull this guy back a bit. Like that. And yeah, the back leg, definitely a bit more complicated than this front one. Mostly because of this guy up here, but that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and do a save. Be sure to save often because Blender does crash every now and again. So share tutorial is what I'm going to save it as. Save Blender file. And all right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the, the seat part of this. So how we're going to do that is we're just going to go up here. We're going to add. We're going to make a cube. And I'm going to press S on my keyboard and scale it down. Pull this guy up and I'm going to kind of try to center it here and I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to go into face mode select this top face and I'm going to just pull this guy down. Uh, we don't need orthographic mode so just press O on your keyboard turn that off. So just pull it down to about right here. A to select all and S to scale up a bit until we get to about here ish. And I'm just going to select the top face again and pull it down. And A to select all and then pull up to about right here. And I'm going to pull this back one a little bit forward. I just want to bring it to about right here where it meets the, the back leg. So to about right here. And so if you look at the chair right here where the legs meet, there's basically a cut that goes around and then the backside comes out a little bit more behind the leg. So to do that, we're gonna press Control R and I'm just gonna pull this one cut all the way to where the leg is. But that didn't do it to our other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press A. And we're gonna go up here to this mesh tab right here and I'm going to choose uh, Symmetrize, but that broke the cut that we had here. So if you look down here in the bottom left menu, uh, the direction is set to negative X to positive X. We're going to set this to positive X to negative X. And if you did it the other way around, then it should be fine for you the way it was. But the way I did it, it was not fine. So 
now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into face mode select this guy and I'm gonna press E to extrude oh actually we need both of these faces we're not in mirror mode so select both of these faces right here and we're gonna press E to extrude out this way and there we go now we have this that curves around but same thing it's really boxy and uh i'm actually move this guy out so say you have something like this and you didn't use a mirror modifier and you want to pull this guy out but it's not pulling the other side out if you try to do it with both of them selected it doesn't do what you want uh what you what you can do is you can go up here and there's another way of mirroring you can press x and now if you pull this guy it'll pull the other side as well so yeah i'm just gonna pull this guy out because if you look at our reference here it comes out a little bit past the leg so i'm gonna pull this guy out a bit and i'm gonna pull this whole front side forward just a little bit like that and that should be good so I think this is a good opportunity to show you another way of beveling, uh, which is with the bevel modifier. So uh, we're going to go over here to our modifiers. We're going to go to generate and we're going to choose this bevel modifier. And if you see it beveled it, but it didn't quite get the result that it, it doesn't look good. So we're going to tweak some settings over here. If you see, we have some settings. So. I'm going to use three segments and you'll see that'll give us basically three cuts and but it still doesn't quite look right which is because of the amount that we're cutting it so uh, I'm going to choose something really really low on the amount something like 0.02 and I think that looks a lot cleaner uh, something to keep in mind with the bevel modifier though is that you see right here on the edge it's it, it's really sharp you know, you just kind of get this sharp kind of thing going on. And if you look at the reference, it's a little bit more curved and not so sharp. So it's going to be a little bit harder to try and control things like that with the bevel modifier. So keep that in mind. But I just wanted to show you uh, the bevel modifier in case you ever want to use it. Uh, for now, I'm just going to roll with this. Um, so, yeah. Now you could curve this some more if you wanted to with uh, some loop cuts here. If you control R here, add some loop cuts and then uh, let's hide this leg right here. So if you select this leg in object mode and press H, we can hide that guy and go into edit mode right here. And I can select this edge right here and press O to go back into orthographic and just kind of scale it up and try to curve it ever so slightly and if we go back into object mode and press alt h that will unhide everything and yeah it's not quite quite what we're looking for there i'm just gonna pull this guy in you can you know select some of these edges in here and try to uh, so we have both of these in edit, edit mode, so you can just go back out in object mode. Select this one and then go back in edit mode. And now we're just going to try to curve this guy out a bit. And I'm going to go into face mode here, and I'm going to select all of the faces in here with control and click. And deselect that one with shift and click. And I'm going to pull this guy back. To about right there and you see we kind of got a bit more of that curve going on uh it's still not perfect but we can go into here and just tweak it till we get it what we want i'm going to go back into edge mode and i'm going to pull this guy back a bit and this guy this way a bit and i think that's good for now good enough for now doesn't have to be perfect at least not right now. I mean, once you're uh, once you're making big, complicated things, you can be real picky. But right now, you're just learning. So, yeah. So, we're going to go back in object mode. And we're going to right-click. 
and we're going to shade smooth by angle and we're going to clean this up a little bit we're going to tweak this angle here until we get something that's a lot more clean and i think that looks pretty decent and we're almost done all we really need to do for this chair are these uh these pieces down here and these pieces and this back end and all of those are going to be pretty easy easy to do so what we're going to do for that is we're going to go up here to add we're going to make a cube and i'm just going to scale this guy down and uh i'll do the the right side first and we're gonna i'm gonna use a mirror modifier for this so go over here to the modifier we're gonna generate mirror and then i'm gonna go into edit mode um and press a to select everything and i'm just gonna move this guy over scale it down until we get to about the size that we want and i'm just gonna pull this guy in here uh looks like it's about halfway up in the reference about the almost halfway up but not quite so i'm just going to select this this face go into face mode come over here pull this guy oh we're in orthographic be sure to turn that off whenever you turn it on if you don't need it so press o on your keyboard turn it off pull this guy over and we're just going to go all the way to the edge something cool that you can do if you go up here, you can uh, change the snapping. So if you go in here to this drop down and choose edge and turn snapping on, you can make it snap to the edge, which is pretty useful. Uh, it's not perfect, especially with these curved things right here. So I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to select this bottom, this bottom edge right here and just pull it forward a bit. And for this piece right here, I'm just gonna um, I am just gonna use the bevel modifier on it. So generate bevel, and I'm gonna add three segments, and the amount is gonna be 0 0.02, and uh, maybe a little bit more. Let's try 0 0.08, maybe 0 0.06. Yeah, I think 0.06 looks pretty good, actually. So I'm going to right-click this guy, sm uh, Shade Smooth by Angle. And I think that looks pretty good. And now we're just going to do the back end, back side of this. So I'm going to duplicate this guy by pressing uh, in Object Mode. We're going to press uh, Shift D. And I'm going to go into Edit Mode. Or actually, I'm going to R, Z, 90 in object mode we're just going to try to get this in the position and we may turn our mirror off for this one because these aren't we didn't mirror with these so i'm going to actually go over here to our modifiers and i'm going to press x on the modifier for this one um because it's not going to be perfectly positioned like our other side is because we we use the mirror modifier uh, originally with that one so i'm just going to position this then i'm going to go back into object mode shift d and go into edit mode and i'm going to pull this guy to the front and now we just need to do this next section it's just barely above it so let's do that so i'm just going to duplicate this guy shift d in object mode and pull this guy up all the way to the edge and you can see this one's because this is uh you know angled we need to pull this guy back a bit we'll pull pull this guy back here and you can see this piece is a little bit longer than this piece so we're going to go into edit mode and i'm going to select this face and just drag it down a bit like that uh, maybe a little further up maybe not quite that far and we could probably pull this backside in a little bit as well so select that face pull it in a bit and I'm gonna 
object mode in object mode i'm going to click this guy shift d click edit mode pull this guy back and kind of get this into position and cool and for these other ones i'm also just going to use this same piece um so i'm just going to object mode shift d duplicate pull this guy over edit mode uh, i'm going to do press r and z and 90 to rotate at 90 degrees and pull this guy over and get it into position and we're gonna have to change the length of this guy so just pull this guy here and we'll come over here and select this face that's inside this leg right now and we'll pull this guy back pull this guy back this way to about the edge and we're gonna fix this angle right here so go into edge select mode click on this guy and we're just going to drag it to the edge there. And same for back here. It's not perfect. So click this edge. Pull it all the way over. And looks good to me. So I'm going to, uh, in object mode, go and press shift D. And I'm going to go back into edit mode. Pull this guy over. And pull this guy right here. And that should be good. Now, the last thing we got to do is this back piece, which is fine. Should be easy. We just got to, we're, we're just going to use the same piece we have right here, back here. So in object mode, click on this guy, press shift D and go into edit mode, press A, pull this guy up. And we're just going to get it into a good position here. And you look on the picture it goes pretty high up to the top so we're gonna go pretty high as well and then we're gonna in edit mode choose face select and we're gonna choose this bottom face and pull this guy down and we'll angle this a little bit so pull the y forward a bit and maybe we'll pull it up a little bit maybe not quite that far down and I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's a decent chair. Now, if you want to just add some color to this, we'll go over that real quick. Uh, we're not going to go too deep into texturing and stuff. I personally don't texture in Blender most of the time. I texture in Substance Painter. But uh, I'll show you real quick how to just add some color to this. So if you just click on an object, go down here to this little tab right here, Material. You can press new and you see we get a new material and we got a base color here so i'm just going to copy the color from this chair right here so click on this color and i'm going to choose the eyedropper right here and select that guy right there and if you see we didn't see any change right there and that's because we're not uh we're just we're, we're not in a um we're not in a material view. This view right here is just a solid view. And this is wireframe right here. This is material view, view. And this one right here is a rendered view. So I'm just gonna do a material view for now. And you can see we get the color right there. So now we're just gonna go to all the other pieces. And since we already made this material right here, we can put it on these other pieces. So I'm just gonna click this piece select this drop down right here and we have that material there and we can just put that material on all these other pieces just select them and select your material <clears throat> and there you go we have a chair So, something cool you can do if you want to, you can render this guy. So if we pull our camera over here, try to get this into a position that looks all right. I'm gonna also move this light right here. Be a little bit in front of the chair. And uh, something cool you could do is if you come up here in this top corner and click and drag, we can get another viewport over here. 
And what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go to view. And I'm going to go to cameras and choose active camera. That way we can see where we're positioning our camera. So you can get a good uh, view of your chair through the camera. And I think that's a pretty decent uh, position there. So I'm just going to get rid of this. So if you click the corner again and then click over and drag, you'll get rid of that viewport. So, oh, we missed a material right here. Let's fix that. We'll select that guy. And we'll go into rendered view. You can see we got our chair. And if you click F12 on your keyboard, you will see your rendered uh, version of your uh, your camera angle. And we can go into this little tab right here, the little TV looking guy, the rendered thing. So right now we're in Eevee. There's also Cycles, which is, uh, it's gonna give you a better result, but it's, it's a bit more expensive. It's, it's a bit more choppy, a bit more slow if you use it. But uh, it does look better, so yeah. And that's our chair. So yeah, nothing too complicated. Blender is definitely a lot, you know, it's definitely overwhelming. I remember when I first started learning Blender, uh, it was super overwhelming, but I also was trying to make really, really hard things. I definitely recommend if you're new to Blender, just make really basic things, use things with basic shapes, and I think you can get Blender down pretty quickly. Like, it's scary at first, but then you do it more, and then it's not so scary after a while. But yeah, we're gonna call it here for this one. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. If you have any recommendations for things you would like to see tutorials on, also let me know those down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.